Hello, we're going to make a short example video of uh, using Blender to add bones and um, armatures to bend objects using poses. I'm going to delete this, delete this cube first and add a cylinder. And then in edit mode, we will select this face and I'm going to extrude it up a few times. Um, the objects can only bend where there's vertices, so there I have a few vertices that can bend now. Um, back into object mode, I'm going to add an armature. Um, it's in there, we can't see it. If I switch to wireframe, I can see it. Or I can switch over here, there is Object Data Properties, Viewport Display, and check in front so that the armature is selected in front and you can see it kind of through, so you can always see the armature. I'm going to um, move it down here, maybe scale it a little bit. Then if I, in edit mode on the armature, I can add, I can extrude, um, the shortcut for extrude is E, I can extrude up and again, so I have a couple of um, a couple of bones in a row that can each bend. If I switch back to object mode, I just want to make sure it's inside from every direction. To connect it to the skin, um, you select first the object mesh hold shift um, and right click, oh, hold shift and select the other one with a regular left click. So select this one, hold shift, select the bones. Then if you can right click, parent, um, the shortcut for this is control P and I want to do armature deform with automatic weights. And then if I switch to pose mode, I can select one of the pieces, and when I rotate it, it will rotate the mesh with it. If I rotate this one, it'll rotate the mesh with it. And that is it. You can add keyframes similar to you do for um, to animate other objects. Um, but that's this is how to, the bones work in a basic, simple example. Um, good luck.